Contest Top Shelf Series is presented by Capital One and supported by Guayaquil Yerba Mate, who thank NPR Music for creating a platform to search for the next great undiscovered artist. Big Dreams, Tiny Desk. What up, y'all? Bobby Carter here, series producer for The Tiny Desk. And we're back today for Tiny Desk Contest Top Shelf. Now, the Tiny Desk Contest is our nationwide search to find the next great undiscovered artist to play the Tiny Desk right here where all the magic happens. They'll also be going on tour. This is the ninth year of the contest. We're going stronger than ever. And uh, we received entries from thousands, thousands, thousands of artists. And if you want to watch them all and if you want to be thoroughly entertained, you can go and watch them right now. NPR.org slash Tiny Desk Contest. But before we announce the winner... OK, we, the judges, we get together and we talk about some of our favorites at the top show. Um, a couple weeks ago, Bob and I, we talked about some of our favorites, but now it's about to get good. Today, we're hearing from contest judge Albina Cabrera, Latin American content producer and co-host of El Sonido at KXP. We love us on KXP. Albina, welcome to the top show. How are you, Bobby? I'm thanks. I'm Thank you so much for this invitation. Tell me something. How was uh, how was this process for you? Like to know that you have like hundreds and thousands of young artists and their future in the palm of your hands. How was this process for you? Wow, that is a lot of pressure, <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. But first, I have to say that I feel like. 100% honored to be part of this. Um, my entire life, I dedicate my life uh, for independent artists. So just to have the opportunity to listen to them, to see their talent, it, it was great for me. It, it's, it's, it's like a kind of medicine, one of my favorite things in my life. So uh, it was a, a lot of pressure, but in a good way, responsibility, yeah. I think. Uh, because I think that all these bands are trying to have an opportunity, right? Yeah. And specifically the unsigned bands. So I think that just to give them an international platform to express themselves yeah. and to put on the table uh, their struggles, their identities and their messages, it's super powerful. So I'm feeling very happy. Yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, I, even looking at looking at your picks and some of the picks that you have, like you know, they're like really laying it all out there. A lot of vulnerable music, a lot of like it takes a lot of bravery, which is why I tip my hat to any and every entry, right? Because it takes a lot. It takes a lot to put all of your stuff out there like that for uh, us to see and judge, right? So uh, with that, thank you for being part of this. Uh, I'm so happy to be talking to you today. Uh, let's get down to it, though with the first, your first pick. Where are we going? Perfecto, my first pick, Oh He Dead, More Time, the name of the song. What can I say, like excellent voice, excellent sound, uh, powerful lyrics from my point of view, and also beautiful harmonies. Uh, that is yeah. some of my favorite elements uh, uh, in a song. And I know that this is their latest single, um, they have other songs that are very, very good. And I have mm -hmm. to confess that I'm coming more from a rock background, but the soul, the R&B is yeah. always super powerful to me and it's something that I enjoy a lot. So I think that this band uh, has a great balance of all those elements. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah it's, a it's a nice gumbo. So let's get to it. Oh, He Dead, More Time. Just 
dream You were holding someone else And when I stumble on that scene I feel my heart explode The medic on the scene Yells that he has gone to code But when they cut into my chest They find my heart is gone I burn my toes As I was staring into space I lost my focus Dreaming about your embrace No one knows why I am acting out this way But I still bring roses I love that. I love like that. That was, one, that was one of my that was one of my favorites too. See? And they this is their fourth time entering and they're based right here in the in in the district. So I I, I love that. But uh Yeah, we, go ahead. We need to rebuild and review all the time the the, the love song book. And I think that it, this is a perfect song to add mm. uh, to this uh, love or pain on some book because right. the, the lyrics are very powerful right and yeah. um, so and what can i say about the video it's like one shot it's, it's perfect they are in the middle of this, the house that you can yeah. see like a little bit of mess behind them it's a mess it's like bananas on the table yeah, exactly. and doritos sprinkle all around the place i love the rawness of it right it's, it's really raw and it's really like the the lyrics like you said those it, i mean that's as honest as it gets right i need more time because i'm i'm still like i'm stuck right i'm stuck on you i, I need more time give me more time it's that's something I think we all can can relate to, right? Of course, one hundred percent. And I can relate to that mess as well. When you you oh, are yeah. feeling pain or when you are yeah. dealing with this hard process and love. Yeah. Such you think a I'm paying attention? I'm not paying attention to the Doritos sprinkle all over the table. I need more time. I talking? need more time, exactly. <laughs> so. Uh, I think that it, it, it's interesting because this band is it, it was one of the latest band that I picked and I mm -hmm. love that we started with this one uh, yeah. because one of my favorite so far yeah no they're, they're really good this is the first the fourth time entering and uh they get stronger and stronger every year that's how you start like like now we're cooking mm -hmm. but uh let's keep going let's keep going who, who, who's next who's next okay uh the next one wow wow I have to say uh Nakupenda Gwangosa, the name of the song, and mm -hmm. she's from Florida, I think. Yeah. And what can I say about Ebony, writer, performer, educator, human rights activist? Uh, again, I, I told you a little bit before that it's really important to me to reveal the, the love song book, right? It's great yeah. when you can compose a great love song. But when you put your identity there, when you put the struggles of your community on the table, I think that that is, a, is super revolutionary. And I think that that is a political act. So to me, it's one of my favorite things, and specifically, you know, to me personally being an immigrant here, you know, like mm -hmm. when you can feel how the artists are trying to heal through music. Yeah. And that is yeah. exactly what happened to me when I hear and watch this video. So I hope that everyone can enjoy it because she is amazing. No, this is, this is really good. I can't wait for everybody to watch it. This is Nakupenda and the song is Kuwangosa. Dramatic as fuck, especially cause life been traumatic It sucks to be on your lonesome and got them Like what? These jokers is two-faced and catty like bruh Till I rise up like Angelou The new being night, they scream hallelujah Said he's saving the day, my swag is a mood And the cool cream to slay, so watch how you move I was dull and depressed and deep down on my luck Then the bottom fell out and reality struck I am what I need, loaded out of the muck Ever since then I bloom, what you won't get to pluck I can buy my own flowers, no stranger to gas You observe your reflection each time that I pass In it's together, just on separate paths Different vibrations get thanks for empaths I stay empath, I'm water Only rescue myself and my daughter With them purple or tribe and them walls them Take that blue prefer we was the father And our elders are honor We've accomplished so much, I'm astonished If the history books could be honest Then it test me the best and be honest What? I'm the greatest Yeah I'm the greatest, huh? I'm the greatest, uh, and they hate it. What? I'm the greatest, yeah. 
I'm the greatest. Huh. I'm the greatest. Uh. And I hate it. When your ego be tripping, ego be tripping, ego be tripping. Sometimes you shit on the blessings be given, blessings be given, blessings be given. Sometimes you slip on that juice you been sipping, juice you been sipping. Fall on your face and with grace find repentance. Huh. And the fame is a sentence from the court of the public's opinion. So you grew to find love in the minions, but their loyalty is based on the millions. And the paper is chaser, takes the edge off they all catching vapors. Got their hands out and asking for favors. Say success is the sweetest to save up, but to observe is the bitterest flavor. The see you get on and believe that they made you expect the return, don't get it, they hate you. Yeah, the vampires drain you. So hard to find time just to chill and relax, go trees on a rooftop, feel lay back. Dreams become nightmares, there's no turning back to the soul to the devil and came by your back. But I'm the greatest. Huh, I'm the greatest. Yeah, I can't right. not feel that. <laughs> you gotta feel that, right? Exactly. Ebony, yes, you are the greatest. I mean, I have to yes. say, no doubt yes. about that. It's you the know. mantra. It's the it's the mantra. I'm the greatest. She says after 30 years of struggling, like with depression and self-harm, like this is where she landed. It's like a triumph. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I was reading more about her because I have to say that I fell in love uh, with with her message. And, you know, it's not only music. You know, she she's a great writer. And she just released a book, uh, Beats and Pieces After Therapy mm. for um, Black Women. And it's a 32-poem yeah. collection that I'm really interested to, to, to read because, I, I don't know, again, you know, it's como gr great music. Uh, what mm -hmm. I hear and what I watched is, is great, but it's more than good music. You know, yeah, and, it goes back to what you it goes back to what you said about rewriting the love book. Like there's so many perspectives and this is all about self. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. need, we, we need more stuff out there like this because, I mean, everybody is struggling with that in some way, you know. And I think that uh, this uh, new generation, uh, we're going to talk about youth uh, a little bit later uh, on mm -hmm. our next uh, video. But I think that. Um, all these new generation or the last two generation of artists are are feeling uh, this responsibility to heal with music yeah. and yeah. Uh, i think that that makes the music better <laughs> but it, it specifically like musically but also as a concept is better so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love ebony she has yeah, it's, it's a amazing. great future it's amazing uh, you're on a roll albina i'm feeling it i'm feeling i'm feeling the vibes right now Let's keep it going. Okay. What you got? What you got for us next? Bueno, uh, the next band, Alegrías Mariposa, the name of the track, and uh, Alegrías. Bueno, what can I say about them? Uh, of course, that uh, this touched my heart personally mm -hmm. because we. I, I was telling you about youth, right? And you can see here the youth it's and a this. Young group. Yeah, exactly this new generation this group of friends uh, they met in a music camp and they started mm. playing together and uh, you I, I think that they embody the the reality of many children and tales of immigrants that are, are healing mm -hmm. through music um but if you also add the talent and if you also add a, you know like great melodies and and poetry the result is going to be always great, you know, and I have yeah. to uh, shout out to Alessa Segura Mora, the, the, the leader of this um, band with Daniel mm -hmm. Hernandez, with Kendall Gibbs and Ada Ngozi, uh, because they are making a great band. And I think that when you start a band with friends, I mean, bueno, maybe you can have some problems like <laughs> years after, but I think years now, now, but you kind of, yeah, it, it, the, like you feel sort of like the mesh right now. That's it's it's pretty tight. See, sí. it's pretty tight. But let's check it out. Let's check it out. Dale, vamos. <laughs>
listen to the kids. You got to listen to the kids. Pero claro, of course. That's and great. That's great. Uh, specifically, when uh, this song made me think about two things. First, the women who are playing the cello um, mm. are great right now. Uh, this reminds me to... Uh, Mave Frati, which is a cellist from Guatemala, based in Mexico City, more experimental, mm -hmm. but uh, also like uh, young and, and super talented. But uh, specifically, this song, when you can hear this bilingual lyrics, um, is so different now because we've uh, seen for so many years in the music industry uh, the bilingual element as a marketing tool for artists. Yeah. But now it's yeah. natural because they right. they were born in this type of multicultural world and this right. they are feeling this type of hybrid um, human, you know. And, and I think that is is great that they are just exploring. Uh, their identity and also their dreams. Yeah, and 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 again, the vulnerability. Like, you know, her pen is kind of crazy. Like, it gets intense at the end, right? It's just like, I hate you, actually. Oh, f you, actually. It's like, throw it out there. Why not? This is, you know, you have to express these things. You can't leave a man. Put them on the pen and express them musically. It's it's amazing. And you know, it's funny you bring up uh, Marty Flatty because. Uh, Hmm, we may have something coming up. Stay tuned. I know. I know. We <laughs> hey, do. hey, listen. We're about to release a, a live session with, with her. I mean, she released the best album of 2022. So, but maybe for another moment, we can talk about Mave Frati. Because oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you may. Yeah, you're going to hear more and see more from them. Maybe from both sides. Yes, perfecto. Tuned. Perfecto. <laughs> I'm happy about Hey, if that. you're just joining us, uh, you are, we are right in the middle of Tiny Desk Top Shelf, where we... Uh, the Tiny Desk Contest judges, we talk about some of our favorite picks. We have the fabulous Albina Cabrera from KEXP today giving us that fire. Uh, but I'm ready to keep it going. You ready to keep it going? I'm ready. Yes. All right, let's do it. And my mate too. So <laughs> this next, um, wow, amazing artist, Varsha. This mm -hmm. was the first one that I picked. Uh, woman, the name of the song, and uh, Varsha Krishnamurthy, I, I, I hope that I'm pronouncing well, uh, when uh, she's exploring here the womanhood, right, but specifically through the lens of the Hindu goddess Durga, e when I hear, first, she has an amazing voice, uh, mm -hmm. I love it, uh, I love the lyrics, bueno, Maybe the people who are watching this, they can tell that I love lyrics. You know, it's that's yeah. the, one of the powerful elements to me. Uh, but I also I think that she has a great band. And uh, again, the youth uh, trying to express how they are feeling, and specifically women right now. Uh, women from, it's women specifically in the music industry, they are put in, in different boxes, you know, that is like one way to explore uh, our experiences. This is one way mm -hmm. to be a female artist. So that is great that they are exploring different ways. And and you, you yeah. said something before about the vulnerability. Yeah. Uh, and I think that that is a common element of this generation, you know, of the youth. That's right. The, don't be shy about vulnerability. Don't be afraid. It's exactly. not taboo. Exactly. Exactamente. Yeah. So um, I have to say that uh, she is one of my favorite. Hey, listen, we're picking up on, I'm picking up on a lot of trends right now. The amazing lyrics and, and, and brilliant, strong woman with strong women today. Like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. I, I know what's going on. <laughs> I'm here for it. All right. All right. Let, listen, let's, let's get to the video. It's Varsha. The song's called Woman. Guidance, oh, pervasive from the mountains I reside in. I am the origin of universe and time, hundred I day and night. Mm. I am a union, a source of energy, indifferent to illusion. I am embodiment of wisdom and devotion. The sun, the truth, the stars, the moon. Uh -huh. The river as 
disrespect within I am what has been Oh, I am violence I am antithesis of quiet and compliance I sit magnificent and mounted on a lion And triumph in a fire oh, oh, oh. Marsha says, I am all the things. I'm feeling that. I'm <laughs> feeling that, Albina. Me too. And again, I think that Varsha has a lot of future. No matter if she's the winner here, she already had that future. And I yeah, love that they are just, you know, um, expressing themselves. And all the bands, I have to say that about, like, I don't know, all the bands and artists that I watched I just have to say congratulations, and I just have to say thank you, you know, because yes. it's, it's it's very hard for independent artists trying to put together, you know, a session, trying to, you know, apply and submit their yeah. music. It's a very complex yeah. process for them. It is. It is. Uh, so, and even with this, like, we're talking thousands. Like, they slip through thousands, like, like thousands. I can't. I can't stress that enough. You know, these are just a few of the a few of the the ones that we love. But you know, imagine you know putting your music out. Everybody's independent. You know, so many independent artists are out, out there right now. So this this here is a win within itself. I hope all I hope everybody on Top Shelf understands that that it, it took a lot to get here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to say that it's amazing uh, the project that you are all are doing with this national contest. I think that we yeah. talked about this before, Bobby, you know, here it, about like the impact that a Tiny Desk or maybe KXP uh, from different, uh, pers with different perspective has for independent yeah. music, you know, and artists yeah. and globally, you know, I'm coming from South America and mm -hmm. uh, a, for the artists, this is a, an important platform for them because right. it's not about to have a, a amazing music, you know. It, you have a lot of conditions and context, political context, economic um, context, and sometimes it's so hard just to yeah, develop your yeah. career, you know. And yeah, you need the music, the music is only half the battle nowadays. You have to do, you have to do so much more. And you know, the I love, I love Top Shelf so much because it, it's exposure, right? Like the the difference between like. Succeeding and, and no one here is, is exposure. Like you have to be exposed. And if this gets these artists uh, that much closer to actually having a career, you know, being able to do what they love, like that's that's truly the win. Um, all right, but I'm feeling I'm feeling what you what you got coming. I can't wait to hear the next one. You ready for the next one? I'm I, ready for the next one. I'm ready for uh, Lisbeth Roman Agua que vuelve. The name of the track and. Um, I just came back from Puerto Rico. She is from Puerto Rico. Mm. She is specifically nice. from Trujillo Alto. Uh, mm. I I couldn't go there. Uh, I was like in Aguadilla and in uh, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. uh, and I I just discovered. I mean, personally, I don't want to use the the discover word for. I anything. get what you mean. You know what I'm I saying. I get what you mean. But uh, I I found. Uh, it's so the music scene is so rich, is so diverse, mm -hmm. and specifically the work that Lisbeth is doing is not only in, in making gr great songs. She's also an activist. She represents the LGBT community. Uh, she's a, a queer artist, putting mm -hmm. again uh, her story on the table, and uh, she also. 
um, work a lot uh, with theater, you know, with um, mm -hmm. plays and, and more. And you can see that drama, you know, in in yeah, her yeah, performance. Yeah. So it's really performing. Exactamente, about. because you you are going to watch a video that is at some point very simple. It's like the mm -hmm. the musicians are more, you know, a follow. A, a, they are following her. Um, mm. but she is the center. She's the center right. of the song and has a powerful voice. So yeah. sending some love to Puerto Rico. That is an amazing Shout community. Shout out to the PR. Sí. I'm so glad we've opened this contest up to Puerto Rico because we're getting some great entries. Me too. Let's Me watch too. it. Yeah, let's check it out. Dale. Afuera azotan los vientos, adentro todo se mueve El ruido de tanta vida, de tanta herida, de tanta muerte Sus ríos chocan las piedras, sonriente el caudal que es golpe Cuando escucho la lluvia, anunciar lo inminente Es hora de ser torrente, de agua que vuelve Agua que vuelve Quiebre viene de adentro, el afuera siempre evidencia Que estrampa el poder, la gloria, el sistema, las fronteras Que el nudo de la violencia, la compasión de sana Que la brisa me arrulle mientras cruzamos el fuego Del sol que todo lo quema y las flores pintadas de nuevo And again, I get I get what you're saying. The way she the way the way they perform is just like it's more than just the voice. Like it's with the the whole body. Exactamente, see, sí. and uh, say a lot about the Puerto Rican uh, identity and, and culture. And uh, I think that uh, you, with this, you can have just a little taste of what Puerto Rico music is. I mean, and mm -hmm. we have to be honest. Right now, Puerto Rico is in the center of the mm. the music scene globally they're running it yes <laughs> indeed yes, you indeed you made no it you made it puerto rico and thanks yeah. for that because you are inspiring so many communities in latin america uh, to make the same with their That's own right. stories and with their own um music so yeah you got to be inspired right now. If you're in Puerto Rico, you got to be inspired. There's just so much going on. They are running it right now. I love it. I love it. Can you tell me about the title, uh, Agua Coabelbe? Agua, Agua what does that mean? It's like uh, water that come back. I don't know exactly because my English is the worst of it. But give me one second because I have my best friend, Water That Returns. I don't know if it makes sense. Uh, um, okay, I get that. See, and it makes sense because she is, yeah. you know, talking about healing too. And yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah, and they are in the with the Caribbean Sea right there. You know, it's right it's, there. It's, 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 it's a sea, and it's one of the main inspiration for uh, Puerto Ricans, but at least to me, from my personal perspective. So, I love Lisbeth. Now that's great. Uh, I'm looking at our next one, and I'm I'm, I'm excited. Uh, Where are we going next? Bueno, we have to travel to Seattle because they are <laughs> <laughs> locals, and that's right. I love them. I'm going to talk about La Fonda. 
Living in the Amazon, uh, the name of the track that if you know about Seattle, you will, you will understand about oh. why they put that name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, for, first, Veronica Topacio, Valerie Topacio, they are uh, sisters, and they started mm -hmm. this band a couple of years ago. And, uh, well, no, we just released a Live on Cakes session with them. Um, and uh, you, you can hear in this song uh, how complex it is to live in Seattle right now. Mm. Of course, because it's very expensive, but specifically because everything is changing a lot, you know, right. with the, the different corpo, uh, tech corpo in the city and how this type of changes that are coming from the capitalism, basically, yeah. uh, also right. changed the art, the culture, the, the, the music scene. And a lot mm -hmm. of artists, sometimes when um, they are struggling to, to dedicate 100% on their, on their music, and they described right. uh, very well about this entry what this means, you know, to live in Seattle, to have two jobs, and then you have just a few minutes to uh, to dedicate to the, the music. So um, I, I really like it. I think that it's a very Seattle sound uh, there. So I love La Fonda. Let's take it to the hometown, La Fonda. This is Living in the Amazon. from Seattle, please come and visit us. <laughs> Listen, I'm listening to that, you know, when, you know, when she repeats, I just want to dream and I think about the story to get to that. I'm all, I'm, I'm exhausted, like thinking about what it takes to get to that point. So shout out to LaFonda, like they're working hard and, and we see you, we see it. They are working very hard. Yes. And I think that it was the fourth time that uh, they submit their music. Yes. To yes. the contest. Fourth time. So, and, and, and we, we, we can see how they are growing up, you know, and how yeah. they are, you better know, better. Uh, doing better and better. So like shout that. out to the, to the, to the artists that enter over and over again. Like, I, like persistence is key. Keep going. Uh, listen, if LaFonda isn't an example, like, I don't know who is. Um, so yeah, that was, that was great. That was uh, living in the Amazon. Peace to everybody in Seattle. Uh, what's next? Hmm. Bueno, what's next? Ha. Juno Lev, I had gay sex with God. It <laughs> could have gone better. Maybe you can pronounce this better. Uh, no, but, you did it. You nailed it. Oh, my God. This song is amazing and makes yeah. 
totally sense that uh, uh, they just got uh, more than one million streams on Spotify. The know, song. Right? So we're going to watch a, a different version of that mm -hmm. song, uh, but uh, I, I think that is one of my favorite songs uh, so far. I, sometimes I, I have to say that I'm against the algorithm, right? Because mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I was born in the 1988, so I, I could I could see the two. Shout worlds. out to the 80s babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, sometimes it, this like the digital platforms and uh, and the algorithm can bring a little bit of democracy, and you can find mm -hmm. songs that can change your life. And yep. This is like it's sounding a little bit romantic, but I think that it's super powerful. I don't know you, yeah. Bobby, but when I I can find a new song that changed my life, I think that is it's one the of, best. It's the best. You want It's the best feeling. It's, the, it's best. The, the feeling that you get when you land on something that not everybody knows about yet, and it just gives you. It's it's the best feeling of it. it I mean, come on, I mean, you work at KX, KXP. Like it's all about music discovery. That's nothing better. Than exactly. discovering something, something so special that like you're still like one of the first. Yeah, exactly. it's the best. It's the best. It's the best, and uh, um, they are from New York. New York, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's it's a powerful uh, song, and I think that we just have to watch it because you are gonna. Yeah, feel let's watch it. it. Yeah, let's get to it. I saw a guy in Trader Joe's buying organic blueberries. Man, I'd ever seen kissed me in the parking lot, one hand holding dried apricots. I think my teeth are gonna rot. Nothing ever stays in my head through the day and sun. I was hoping from the title, I was like, the title, get, the title reeled me in. I was like, please be good. <laughs> thank, thank God the song was good. Cause whew, that's a title that's going to catch your attention. It was great. That's Juno Lev. Shout out to Juno Lev. Mm -hmm. And I love how they describe uh, themselves. It's like before all else, Juno Lev is a poet. Yes, of course, <laughs> mi amor. O sea, Say uh, it. yeah, I, I totally get that. And I love it. And again, the the, the lyrics are super special. The um, arreglos vocales as well. Sorry, my Spanglish. But uh, I really I really like them a lot. No, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. So listen, you all, thank you so much for joining us. Albina, thank you. This has been amazing. You've, you've delivered the heat like I knew you would, of course. Uh, but also shout out to everybody in the chat room for, for keeping it active. Um, but listen, if you wanted to check out these entries and more, you can visit npr.org slash tiny desk contest um, to sit there and go down that rabbit hole. Be sure to su subscribe to NPR Music's YouTube channel to be reminded of when the next Top Shelf is happening because we do have a few more to go. Uh, I'll be talking with uh, Judges Baby Rose and Sudan Archives on May 4th, May 11th. Bob will be talking to Sharon Van Etten. Woo, that's going to be juicy. 
and then we'll have one with the winner. Yeah, so with that, we got one more. How are we going to close out? One more, yes. Little Moon, Wonder Eye, the song. Eh, that was very powerful. O sea, first, the voice, I have to say, that uh, is it, super powerful. All the bands sounded great. Eh, they are a couple, um, mm. a wife and a husband. This is a super personal song um, about losing someone, you know, about death. Yeah. And it's, again, it's, we can, we can describe and we can have a huge list of love song or a song about being in love, but songs about uh, losing someone, songs about what death means uh, yeah. to us is, is very powerful. And I don't know, I, I don't know too much songs that, uh, are a great description of that. And I think that oh, yeah. this is a great example and For specifically, sure. yes, um, all of them, I, I, I love it. And I think that it's a great, it's a great uh, songs to, to close this list because oof, you will travel. Indeed, Albina, thank you again. Uh, we're gonna take, it, take you out with Little Moon's Wonder. I, I am Bobby Carter for NPR's Tiny Desk. And I'm Alvina Gabrera from uh, KXP, and I'm super honored and happy to be here to to connect again KXP and NPR and uh, all this music scene. So thank you so much. Peace, y'all. Count up on fingers all my days to the minute. Mm -hmm.